more than corn sprouted this spring in these northeast Nebraska fields. May 1st, 118 wind turbines went online. Around here in our small town, we don't have projects like this or things that will benefit us like this. Prairie Breeze became the state's largest wind farm to date. It was a very huge project. And all of us, you know, when the construction people come in, I mean, everybody kind of had their job. Construction brought 230 jobs to the Elgin area, normally home to only 600. We do a lot of safety training and safety is key. 13 employees remain on site to run the facility and churn out 200 megawatts of electricity for OPPD. That's enough to power 60,000 homes every year. We're adding energy, but we're adding renewable energy, which is the direction of the future, meets our mission statement, reliable, affordable, and environmentally sensitive, so big day for our company. Folks from near and far came for the grand opening celebration this summer. Very seldom do we get the governor to come to our town. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're very excited for this to get opened up. There are so many benefits uh, here in terms of job creation, revenue for the local uh, governments as well as state government, uh, low cost energy, which is one of the things we talk about all the time. It's another source of uh, tax revenue for our state plus our county. And uh, we're very happy to have them here. Affordable thanks to tax incentives enacted by the Unicameral, and for good reason. As we try to recruit other industries to Nebraska, the low-cost energy makes a difference. Incentives paved the way for the next wind farm, Broken Bow 2, which goes online this fall. That'll take OPPD to 15% renewable energy by year's end. Next year's Grand Prairie project will take us to 30%. At 400 megawatts, twice the output of Prairie Breeze, it will make OPPD a green energy leader for the nation. A real win-win.